Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Sierra and I post videos on this channel every single Tuesday and Friday. I post Christian fiction book related content. Hello Fluffy! So if you're interested in that kind of thing, we both recommend that you subscribe. <laughs> I don't know how many times my dog has been featured on my channel. I know he's laid on my bed a couple of times when I've sat on it to make videos, but this is my sweet puppy. He's not a puppy. He's four years old. All right, you got to get down. I got to make a video. So today I'm going to be talking about these two books, The Covenant House Duology by Connellan Cazette. I don't know how she does it time and time again, just finds the most breathtakingly beautiful and stunning words that creates these stories and characters and plots that just wrap me in and hook me and even though I know like in the back of my mind it's all going to turn out it's constantly like going directions that I never even thought were possible Ugh, just blows my mind time and time again like it's crazy I went into these books I've already read like all of her other books before these and I went into them like fully expecting to be blown away and then I was blown away with how blown away I was. <laughs> so the Covenant House duology follows two Philistine children who escape from Ashdod following the Ark of the Covenant after the five kings of like Philistine nations basically send it out on a mule cart and they follow it and then end up getting adopted by one of the Levite priests and his family who is guarding the Ark of the Covenant and like knows its location and is protecting it from those who want to steal it or supposedly take it back to its rightful place. And so that adventure of guarding the Ark is a big part of the first book and a little bit of the second book. So the first book, To Dwell Among Cedars, follows Eliora. She is the older sister of the siblings. And we start the book with their escape from Ashdod and then we transfer into after she has grown up a little bit in part two. Just kind of her journey of realizing that she is completely loved by her adoptive family and she does not need to prove why they should continue to love her and accept her and her love interest Ronin is involved in this supposedly adventurous and gallant plot to uh, take the Ark and take it back to its what he thinks and his uncle thinks is its rightful place and through the story uh, he just comes to these certain realizations about the Ark and then about Eliora as he gets to know her and her brother and it's so beautiful and I just love it. It made me smile so much because it was such a good story, such a good romance with enough of an adventure plot that it wasn't just straight romance, which is one thing that I can say about every Conlon Cazette book is it is it is definitely like biblical romance, but the balance of those feelings with the adventure and honestly kind of mystery and just uh, kind of keeps you on your toes plot is such a good balance and there are sappy moments but like they fit so well in the storyline and just I love them so much. I love all of the love stories so much. Then the second book in the duology, Between the Wild Branches, follows Lucio, the younger brother of the siblings. After he runs away from his adoptive family on the mountain where the Ark of the Covenant is, and he goes back to Ashdod because he had never completely accepted the Hebrew way as his older sister Eliora did. And so he goes back and becomes this powerful, famous fighter in the city of Ashdod and is recognized by the king and is kind of promoted to this high status within the city and his name is known by all basically and he ends up becoming betrothed to the king's daughter just to find out that the king's daughter's maid is his best friend from when he lived in Hebrew territory and she has been captured by a slave raid and now serves Marietta, the king's daughter. 
And so they reconnect and go over past hurts and, and just through the story they figure out how to kind of be friends again and then they realize they can't be friends. And there's this whole plot of Shoshana, the uh, love interest basically of Lucio, trying to escape uh, Ashdod and return to Hebrew territory and he plays into that a little bit and it's just so good and so perfect. And I have to say, I finished this book just last night, so I'm still coming off of like the high of, oh my word, that was the best book ever. This book, like, it takes the plot forever. Like, it, it's super fast paced, but you are getting down to like the last five pages and you're like questioning what the heck is gonna happen. How is this going to like be sorted out? I was seriously reading it. I was like, there is not enough time left for all of this to be figured out. And of course it was, and there was a good ending that made sense with the book. But when you started the book, there was absolutely no way in my mind that I could have gotten to the ending from the first few chapters. Even in the middle of the book, I was like, how is this going to end? I don't understand any of this. Like, what? And I think that's one thing that I just love so much about Connell and Cosette books is they are not predictable in the slightest. And one of, sometimes one of the downsides of being a reader is I've read so many books that I feel like I've just read it all and it's easy for me to predict a book sometimes and when I find a book that I'm like I have no idea what's actually going to happen that is what really gets me and hooks me is if I can keep being intrigued and want to know the ending because I haven't already figured it out. So it's safe to say that I love both of these books very much. They are both five stars for me. Uh, I did really appreciate how the second book like it took Lucio a while to finally come to terms with God and it was honestly just the progression of his spiritual development was so so fascinating and just the letting go of the bitterness mm, just really got me because in the first book Eliora she accepts God like basically right out the gate when she gets into Hebrew territory honestly before she even gets into Hebrew territory she has given her life over to God and so she just has this peace and love and joy of being in God that flows out of her that is very much not present in Lucio's story and his coming to that place, oh, it's so good. Let me know your thoughts on this duology if you have read it or if you want to read it now. I would probably encourage you to read Connell and Cosette books above any others that I have ever recommended. They are just that good. So yeah, just let me know your thoughts and thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you Tuesday for whatever video that is. Until then, bye!